What's going on everybody, my name's Chris, and welcome back to some more Animal Crossing! In the last episode, we got Total Kiki Song, and we also upgraded our house, and we can actually see it right here. Oh, look at these presents! Beautiful! Uh, notes for Chris, bring the soothing beauty of the sea to your home with a blue dresser, bookcase, bear, yeah, okay. So, you'll occasionally get letters from the Happy Room Academy suggesting themes you can make your house, where you don't need to, but you can if you really want to. Okay. So, would you like to be a black king? Well, lucky individual, where are I planted? More than an acre, E5. Good luck, E9. E Enis. 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 E5. So, that's over there. We shall go see about that later. And as you can see, our house now has a chimney, and it, it's an actual house, finally. Kind of. Well, it's bigger. It's not the greatest, but it's bigger. And look! Yes! Yes! Okay, I did want to check that to make sure, like, my street hasn't been broken. I, I feel like a dirty cheater for what I did yesterday because I didn't actually play yesterday, I just time traveled to make it seem like I did. Yeah, I feel kinda dirty for that. <laughs> Gotta take a long shower now. But yep. Um what do we have that we could throw down here? Let's keep our flame shirts. We'll have we'll have like our clothing right in front of our bed, so when we wake up around me in the night it'll look like there's people standing in front of us and it'll scare the bejesus out of me. Eh, uh, bejeebus. Oh yeah. I forgot I have a painting. I guess we'll go donate that to the museum today. There we go. Aliens are coming to take me! Oh my god! Um. Yeah, so what time is it currently? It is. It's time not to show up in the house. Apparently not. Let's go outside. It is currently 10 to 9 p.m. Obviously. <laughs> you know, because it's night and such. But, um. These letters with presents in them are more typically than not from from the museum. You'll sometimes get presents and letters from your mother and occasionally your dad. Actually, I think your dad only talks to you like once a year. Uh, we got an ammonite. Yeah, mammoth skull. Oh, mammoth skulls I think are pretty rare actually. A patasaurus, small head for the creature. Alright, so I have to do is just open them. And give me what you got. Give me what you got. got, got, got. Give me what you got. Yo, 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 yo. So the only thing I really use stationary in this game for really is for writing letters to the museum. Occasionally, I'll try to make it like a a theme to myself to make sure I write at least one letter to like when a villager moves in or whatever, just because I can. Whatevs. And as you can see, our letter folder is full full now. So it's at this point you can delete them, which I pretty much delete every letter except for the. The letters that um, when people uh, when animals move out of your town, I typically like to keep those just because you know they're like sentimental, and I could remember I can keep track of what animals have moved in my town, what animals have moved out, and such. And if an animal ever does move out, they can't actually move back in, but it'll pretty much be like a completely new character, so it'll be like they never even lived there to begin with. They won't remember you or anything, unless of course they move to like uh, another town on another. Um, memory card, and then if they move back, then they will remember you, because they are technically the same animal. Uh, Tom Lux is indeed so low, but I always forget what time they close. It might not be till 10, actually. Welcome, do come in. My store is all the more happy for your presence. So, how do you like the new house? You haven't inspected it, haven't you? Not that it needs inspection. <laughs> yeah, it does. What'd you mess up on, you silly little titty face? It must have such quite spacious living quarters. A real stuff from your former lodgings, hmm? Now then, come to the thorny issue of the bed. Remodeling isn't exactly cheap, as you know. Oh, and we had that dry rot issue. That was a mammal strike. It comes to a total of 140,000 bells. What? A little pricey, I know, but that's the market. Okay, so, yeah. That's a bit more of a step up compared to the first one we paid. So that's gonna take a little while to... Oh, what's this? I don't think I've seen this before. A radiator. I'll take it. It's in the middle of winter. We need freaking warmth and stuff. Yeah. Oh, <gasps> a fishing rod. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, nice. We could finally start freaking fishing. Great. This is the most beautiful time of my life, so... <laughs> Probably won't do any of that today, since I want to like, introduce the museum today. But we shall take a look. Oh, I'm pretty sure... Exclusive rod. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I'm pretty, I'll, I'll get the fishing probably in the next episode. Oh, damn it, I did want to buy it. Heck yes, I'll buy it. I spend money because I'm a, like a freaking boss or something. All right, let's sell. Uh, oh yeah, I gotta show you guys what the pitfall does. Fancy carpet. Oh, I bought that yesterday, didn't I? Yeah, well, 
Um, Brillos, I'm just gonna sell back, because I really don't care too much for them, actually. I just bought them, or I just picked them up just to add them to my inventory and add them to my catalog, so I can. Actually, I haven't shown you guys that either, have I? Thank you. See my catalog. See your own personal catalog. Just specify what you like. Order is really quite that simple. So, essentially, everything you see in the catalog, we have owned at least once. As you see, there's a whole bunch of categories. You can't buy everything, like fossils, for example, it says not for sale. So we can't buy those, but however, the most of furniture and such we can buy back. But yeah, pretty much anything you've ever owned before we can't buy back. So we can't just like buy anything you want in the game, because I kind of break the game and such, right? Right. Uh, what do we got for a wall here? Cabin wall. Um. Ooh. Yeah, how can you afford the light go so cheap? See, why don't you put that up as your wallpaper and stuff? Look at, look at this. He has a spider web and a whole bunch of boards with nails sticking out of them. Beautiful, isn't it nice? I wish that was my house. And well, that's how I wish it was my house indeed. Okay, so... Um, let's go to the, uh... Yeah, let's go to the museum, shall we? We got a gyroid! A squeal droid. We got a thousand bells! Okay, so we're also gonna plant these thousand bells just to see if a tree grows or not. We got a fossil! Okay, we have made it to the museum, yeah, yum. And now we can start freaking donating stuff and such. So, let me just talk to Mr. Blathers, who is, of course, is now awake because it is night, and as you know, owls are awake during the night, so we don't have to go through the freaking cutscene of him being asleep and him being all confused and such. Let's give him this a paddle skull. Hoo hoo, I say, a paddle skull. The day the rain pieces are pretty stone puzzle are fun, found will be choice one indeed. Good luck to you, good sir. Okay, so he pretty much does the same thing every time you donate a fossil, and he doesn't actually. Pretty much any time you do donate something to the museum, he will give you like a big description about it to you. However, he, for um, fossils, it isn't that until you complete the set. So until we find the remaining mammoth piece and also the remaining a uh, paddle pieces, then he won't really say much. But for example, the ammonite is that's the only one in the set. So for this, he should give us some information. Well, who and who again? An ammonite. My stars of an impressive find. Ah, yes, wonderful. This fossil is exceedingly superior quality. What, what? Now then, I know a thing or two about these creatures. Yes, indeed, ammonites. I thought ammonites lived in shells. They were not shellfish, but rather mollusks like octopi and squid. Our closest really, really living relative to ammonite is the chambered nut till till this. Fascinating, no? Oh, yes. Fascinating, especially because I have no idea what that is. Ammonites existed from a Definitian period some 400 million years ago to the end of the Cretaceous period. The extension conceded with that of dinosaurs. Time and tide wait for neither man nor beast. What? Oh, ho! Oh, that is you, Nitty. I've gone and done it again. Spiritual information that more necessary than necessary. Stay this away. Okay, so, yeah, it's pretty much what you'll do when you complete a dinosaur set, but since we actually have a, um, a painting, we can be like, here, take this painting, take this leaf. Oh, my. So this is a rare painting. Hmm. Well, it's, there's a some, some sort of, I'm sure it's just me, but I don't see why they say it's a rare painting. <laughs> you have a deep, yeah, so, um, I guess that's a bit of comedy right there. I forgot he said that. But, yep, indeed, a uh, rare painting is actually pretty much the most common one you'll ever see. Which is kind of hilarious, so let's find it in here. We don't really have too many paintings we have to collect, actually. There we go. So, anything we donate, you could click on it and I'll tell you what it is. Every painting in this game you collect is actually based off a of real painting, so there is, like, the Mona Lisa and a whole bunch of other paintings I do not know the name of, since I do not know my art at all, because I've been pfft, art. <laughs> And here's the fossils. Oh, I forgot how small the rooms were in this game. Compared to, like, the rooms in um, City Folk, there's really, like, nothing too exciting. See, it just says, yeah. So, yeah, that's all we have in there so far. So, actually... Like I was saying, until we find the second piece of the mammoth and the other two pieces to the paddle sword, he won't really tell us too much about it. So, yeah. Um, I guess we're gonna go take a look and see if we could find the, um, the Black King, Inis, uh, 
buried somewhere in this acre. E5 it was. And pretty much whenever someone buries something, it will be pretty rare. Like, the only way you will be able to receive that item is by digging. Where is it? Seriously. Is it, like, behind the house or something? Hello? Hello, Mr. Asher. Hey, it's you, huh? Well, the evening is young. Let's rock the night away. Swine. Wahar. So, hey, why even talk to me? What do you want? Hey, Chris, do you have any friends living in other towns? Swine, any friends at all? If you do, you should go visit the town and see what's like that. A little child never hurt anybody. Or if you can't, can't just be bothered, have him come check a Florida swine. Why not? Who wants to live in this entire life in the same town? There's a whole world out there just waiting for you. I'll have to use the hunches and head over to the train station and hop to a train. Simple as a pimple. You Now, right train, you need a ticket, so speak to... So, to speak. So, by which I... Bleh, pff, how does speaking... So, yeah, pretty much if you have another memory card with a town on it, you can go visit other people's towns, and we will actually be doing that, since I do have multiple towns. Thanks to the fact that uh, actually I actually have my town I used to play on like years ago, so we'll go explore that sometime, shall we? Indeed we shall. Huh. So I can't find this thing for the life of me. Was it E5 or was I, did I look at something wrong or something? Because I cannot find this black king that's apparently buried somewhere around here. Is it, th is it this for some reason? No, it's a fossil. Weird. We got a gabroid! A mini plankoid! Bob! Yeah, E5. That's weird. I mean, no one else would have dug that up because there's no one else to dig that up. Like, animals can't actually dig or anything in this game. That's kind of creepy, to be honest. And in the dump, we now have a scale. Yay, we can now scale things. And might as well pick up this paper so we could write more fossils out. Um, but I think I'm actually calling an episode there, guys. Off screen, I'm going to go find the, um, the money rock. Just because I'm going to try and do that every day, as well as mail some fossils to the museum. But until then, I guess I'll see you guys later. So thanks all for watching, and if you enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. My name's Chris, and I will see you tomorrow. Peace! Holy crap! Um... I wasn't going to fish till next episode. I'm literally just looking around for the money rock, but I know it's a giant fish. And for this game standard, that is a huge fish. Let's... <laughs> toss her fishing out in there and see if we can catch this. So yeah, just wait for the bobber to go underwater and press A. Oh, yeah, I missed it! I guarantee that was something he's streaming right. Damn it! <sighs> we got a fossil! Calling it, it's this rock. Oh yeah, who's a freaking awesome person? This is literally like the last rock in town. Are you kidding me? <sighs>